Here we are looking at Mormonism. Uh, this is a cult of the 1800s. Here is the Mormon founders, the first five presidents of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Joseph Smith, Brigham Young, John Taylor, Wilford Woodruff, and Lorenzo Snow were all Freemasons in the Nauvoo Lodge. All Freemasons, and you can read about that at the uh, British Columbia uh, Grand Lodge. Now, they uh, will show you some deception in that lodge with regard to what Freemasonry is, but I showed you in the uh, first section of their writings. Uh, Brigham Young revised, you can see here, uh, the portrait of Brigham Young and him uh, wearing his uh, pendant or this pin, which was a square and a compass. And there is a clear image of that square and compass. Brigham Young. A look at the weather vane design. That's the square and the compass. It looks like that is a torch. You see now, you saw that in earlier pentagram plates, but these stars. Similarity between that shape and this shape. Uh, in the star, the pentagram. Here's the pentagram in that star once again. Looking at uh, Mitt Romney, now 2012 candidate, Bain and Company. He's a, uh, a Mormon, and therefore he's a Freemason. Uh, because look at what Mormons are. This is an interesting symbol. That is that pyramid symbol. Look at the uh, sly look at this this businessman, Mormon businessman. But uh, anyway, I, all, we see this uh, that priests do and, and Freemasons do. You'll see some of that a little bit later. Here's the temple garments, uh, which are the underwear. And the emblem of Freemasonry is embedded in the design of the underwear, the square, and the compass. Here's the square and the compass and the underwear. There's the actual image. Here's the compass and the square in the underwear. So please, when you show, you talk to a Mormon, just say Mormonism is Freemasonry and uh, you'll be correct on that notion. And you can even tell people uh, about it and what Freemasonry is all about. Here's that elongated star once again. Uh, this is a museum uh, in Utah uh, with regard to the Mormon Church. I think it's there uh, showing a history of the Mormon Church. You can see here now, look at this really long elongated star uh, in this uh, room, Mormon room, and going back to that tarot card by Alistair uh, uh, Crowley, and you see the human being, and then uh, the down pointing star representing the fallen angel and the fallen star. They believe Lucifer and Jesus are spirit brothers. They worship another Jesus, and this is warned uh, by, in the Bible by Paul uh, of warning us that uh, if somebody is teaching another Jesus, uh, they're not, uh, we're not to be intermingling with them at all. In fact, so Mormonism here, handshakes even the same. Magic and Masonry, you see that. First token of the Aaronic priesthood, look at the handshake. Even the rituals themselves, look at that. Tearing uh, throat cut, cut across here. Tongue, uh, uh, tear the tongue out by the roots um, as well. Cut out the chest and pull out the heart and lungs here and here in, in Mormonism. And then tear out the bowels right here and you can see here same rituals in Freemasonry come on people understand this is in their uh, this is what they're doing these are now Mormons doing there they're not Masons look even the aprons are the same this is that temple with the uh, pentagrams moving along here uh, down pointing stars this is called the beehive house and we saw that beehive symbolism there it looks like this is exactly what they do they have the elite of Mormonism and then they have everybody else following and so the beehive here's the beehive itself with the square and compass this is the city at dormant house I believe that's the same no this is Salt Lake Temple um, okay and so the beehive industry now, and that's, of course, the beehive state, the great seal of the state of Utah. And you see the beehive here, the beehive state, Utah. Look at even on the temple itself, the eye of Lucifer, handshakes for brotherhood. You have all of this occult uh, symbols of the sun, and here's the eye, sun, moon, fiery stones. Uh, cloud stones or the rays of light. Now you have here also Egyptian hier 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 oops, I'm sorry. Hier <laughs> hieroglyphs. And then you have here Adam and Eve and fruit at the altar. This is Cain's offering. Here's the lamb. Uh, understanding that that is biblically 
not correct? Here is another Jesus, the celestial Jesus that they have. Well, they have all kinds of weird uh, beliefs, uh, if you understand them fully. They believe that they're going to have their own planet, uh, that these men will have uh, perpetual uh, wives as women. They're going to populate that planet uh, with their wives uh, and uh, live and reign uh, on a planet. So very interesting and very odd belief systems. You can read all about it, Mormons and Masons, in this book.